in this lightboard video, we'll talk about very specifically the CoverX for MongoDB. Um, another class of NoSQL databases, MongoDB is a lot more document document oriented, um, and and you know we will we will go very specifically into how and what RecoverX delivers. Uh, what what we have here is another uh, what we call a reference deployment diagram. Uh, for our customers, we have what you see here, MongoDB, which is a two by three sharded cluster. Uh, uh, you know, a, we could either go a very simple one replica set, which is one by three, but sharded cluster is really where the magic is, or, 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 or we get a lot of requests from our customers. So two by three, every node is a self-contained entity, comp compute st server and compute storage and, and network. Uh, you have a test dev cluster, which is a simple one by three replica set one primary and two secondaries, and, and third is the RecoverX software. Can be deployed on a VM, can be deployed on a physical server, as I mentioned earlier, and a piece of software that can be deployed on any uh, cloud instance, uh, Amazon, Google, or Azure. Uh, so, you know, how of RecoverX? Um, again, this is MongoDB is, is a master-slave model, uh, where it is primary and secondaries, and primary and secondaries. Uh, and, and similarly, uh, to to the to the RecoverX product, it has application RecoverX has MongoDB specific application listeners, and these application listeners very simply uh, are, are act as node agents on these nodes. They're deployed on all uh, the nodes of the database, and and really you know some customers tell us that hey why do you need to deploy it on all when you can just tail the op logs from the secondary, and the reason we do in a distributed database. Any node can fail and the secondary can become primary, primary can become secondary, so we have to manage that for consistency. So very first step is to deploy the application listeners in the spirit of working with well-defined APIs. They work with MongoDump or, or, or other well-defined APIs of MongoDB like FindStar, depending whether you're doing a first full or you're doing incremental forever. Uh, number two, uh, from there on, once you deploy the application listeners and you select, hey, I want to tail it from one primary primary, secondary, or primary, secondary, secondary. We will tail the op logs. Op logs are nothing but your stream of data, which is nothing but a set of documents, and we'll tail the op logs uh, from your primary, secondary, secondary, uh, to pick an example, and we'll do it for the remaining also, but just to keep this diagram a little simpler to follow, uh, we will tail them and store it into your secondary, uh, into your secondary storage. And again, this is a classical backup storage, NFS, S3 in the cloud, or object storage. And 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 then and you know this all of this auto uh, all of this data movement is automated and orchestrated by RecoverX. As the data lands, uh, you want to make sure that you get a consistent view across the nodes of a replica set. And in this case, if a collection and if I can draw this uh, without uh, a collection is sharded and collection sharded means it splits across multiple replica sets. So you really need to figure out the documents are consistent across the shards. Uh, and, and we do that with the consistency and, and again reducing, you don't want to take document John from primary, document John from secondary and third replica of document John from the secondary two and store three documents. You want to store a single golden document even though you tail the op logs from all the three nodes of a database. So that's very simple, um, a consistent backup of Mongo. Uh, again, lots and lots of technology built uh, behind the product for failure scenarios uh, of either the nodes or sharded clusters, and, and even you know what we now now deal with uh, is 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 a, a very norm of distributed architectures topology change. Meaning what on the fly uh, you deployed RecoverX for a two by three, but you know you're going along happily making these backups, but it became from two by three to three by three. Meaning you added one more replica set, right? And, and But that should have no impact to your data protection. Data protection product should be able to pick that up and be run with it. And so there's a whole piece of technology that we have built to handle a changing nature of these databases. So that's that's really the how. On, on the recover portion, hey, I want to spin up a, a MongoDB, which is one by three, uh, a net new test F cluster, non-prod, whatever you want to call it. And again, recover X is, is simply has application listeners deployed on each node, primary, secondary, secondary, and, and you know what we simply do is we understand the topology is different than the original topology. Again, the same concepts. Um, and and we, we sort of guide the application listeners through the control plane that, hey, uh, sort of pull this data from the secondary storage into every node 
of the database. And again, as I said, there is a lot of technology built. Uh, you know, how do you go from a six node to three node? What happens to the local space requirements? Uh, you know, we, we sort of have built and orchestrated enough portion of that. You know, but the most important requirement here we get is extremely, extremely fast RTOs. You know, when you lose a collection and, and many, many of our customers have, and, and they want to recover from that collection loss, uh, be able to restore this data as fast as possible is the number one requirement of our of our customers and then everything else. So that's really the how. It is really giving you a, a, a app consistent uh, um, backup, uh, again, all in the notion of uh, durable, uh, durable data, but consistency across sharded clusters. It is giving you uh, extremely fast RTOs uh, to go from sharded to unsharded clusters, unsharded to unsharded, and even unsharded to sharded restores. You know, it could be the very well the other way around. Your production cluster could be set of replica sets, and a very large networking customers customer of ours has production full of replica sets, but the recovery uh, destination is a sharded cluster. So you know, we can do the, that also. And then finally, driving as hard, uh, you know, we we like to call it as hard savings. Uh, and and I, I just add a word TCO savings. You know we we put up just one slide and we'll do compare contrast uh, solutions and videos in the following sessions. But we'll we'll show you if you put side by side two solutions, either a native solution or RecoverX, the the opex savings and the capex savings are so huge on top of the deduplication that that savings will pay off for this RecoverX software and this investment that you do eight to 10 times. And, and that's what really what we see uh, 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 along with our customers and that, that, that TCO savings of 60, 70%.